You go to the museum, cost you money to go inside. That's Aboriginal Museum right there. And people have been abusing that for years and years and years. And it's about time the Aboriginal people got something out of it. We grew up, people started coming in. The Shire, we come back to the Shire, they allowed people to come in here. I worked in here recording all this hard work, me and my son when he was 16 years of age. White men come in here, dug, dug all that up, look, all that floor of that cave. I come in here, see a hole there, deep was from here to me and Colin, where they had taken all the artifacts and everything. All that. Archaeologists mob and all that. Like in the lolly shop. Me and my old dad, me and, I, me and my old dad, we had a camp here. We built a camp, um, built a camp here. We put that fence around there. Look, the first fence that went around that cave. Right? But then people tried to, you know, they allowed the, sh allowed the tourism to come in. Tourists. White man done that. They never respected what the old people said, what the old Aboriginal people said. That was all gone then, and it's still gone today. And like they say, like Colin's saying, where's our benefits for it? Mm -hmm. We should be benefiting from it. Colin said to me earlier, oh, people should be made to be paid to come in. I went to South Australia, and I went to the Great Australian Bight. That's where my grandmother, um, on my mum's side, my mum's parents come from, Yalata. I couldn't go into the Great Australian Bight and have a look at it because they had a big fence there. It was locked at 5 o'clock every afternoon. I camp down at Yalatart, drive back the next day, pay five dollars to go in and have a look. To the white man? To the white man. But a lot of those paintings there are done by people travelling to yeah. travel and they put their painting, they put the painting on there and then someone else comes oh. and does it. Their family know that they've done it there because this was a way through to to the well range mm. from, yeah, a lot from of everywhere. The, a lot of the old people from Western Desert, all over the place. Yeah. Got South, Buddy my people all around. Martin Mob, Chopin Mob, all these different old people from that way. They come in and see their artifacts. They used to always leave artifacts. And that artifacts, that sort of paid for the hoka that they took. Yeah. They used to go out. That's what my old dad and them used to tell us these stories. They go out, you know, the, the world's range out here, this, this, this Wilgimai here talked about that. You know, there's a lot of things that, artifacts that you, we used to see there, but they would be put there by the people that used to come in and take ochre. That's their way of paying for it. But what happened to all these artifacts? Where are they today? Oh, all these the things that was put there, where are they? Locked up mm. in the museum. In the well, the, we, we've got our museum, we should put them right back where they belong to. You know, they should be putting them things back. That, be, that belongs to, that's our history. Our people, that's their history. From our perspective, is understanding from, from you, Mob, what's special about this place and how you want it to be managed. Do you want people to be able to come here on their own or as part of a tour or do you want there to, it to be fenced off and it's it's for, for you mob, you know? So well it's probably oh. it's probably recognised all over the world this place, you know? It's probably um, all over the world. You, oh, it, you know, you go to Australia, you go to this place, you go to Kew, go to Wall Rock, see all this rock art and all that. So okay, like Colin was saying, maybe that's a good idea, fence it in. Let people start benefiting from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I was saying, when I went to South Australia, I had to pay to go in and have a look at the Great Australian Bite. I don't know what... You, all these things, you, you could pay to they go do with Tarragini, mm -hmm. but they must, have, yeah. they must have a good relationship mm -hmm. with the Shire there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, that's no, a, that's a big thing too. That, <laughs> that's that's you have to have a good relationship with the Shire to make these things happen. And we should be working hand in hand with the Shire, you know? Because they've been promoting this place for years. And they'd have to make bookings with the Shire for tourists to come out here. And the tourists that will come out here, like things got the tourist business going now. Sorry, Tim. In Mount Augustus, you know, you got that big sign. Yeah. It actually tells you the story of the of yeah. that rock, yeah. told by the people. That's why we need one here, told by our people. So you know, not so the tourists are getting info from the Shire, yeah, getting a white man's version, yeah. get it from the black fellas, You know, and yeah. let them write yeah. about and put a sign up. They you know, create, so you've yeah. got all the information. Because if anybody can tell the story, it's these people. Did I even spell Wadjuri wrong? They put a D there. Yeah. You had to make sure they were looked at it. Can you tell us what it means, Colin? Yeah. You blokes say writing, but now they've been marking. Yes. All up there. Ah, oh, that's what it means. The, 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 well, mark, the markings they on the put, rock. They put markings. Okay. Okay. And when the white folks come, they say Wallet, you know, then that means they wrote it there. It's not written, there's marking before. Markings, okay. I know, I know one time we come out here and they talked about, you know, you got the cave and when the sun comes down, because you see all that inside of there, that, that was nice, nice. thick um, growth there, you know? But like I'm saying, these ar archaeologists might come in here, they rip all them trees and that out. Jimmy. To get in there and dig it, and they were talking about putting a shade cloth. It never happened. Because the sun, when, it, when the sun gets here, it's hitting straight into there, and it is killing the artwork. But I, well, the shade cloth is fine, but, you know, got to plant some trees there, give me shade. Yeah. We could set up a ranger program, and you guys said um, tourism, and have it seasonal. Well, it's not tourism season, and four cars just pulled in just then. Walked around, looked at everything that we're talking about. You know, yeah, tourists is already tourists here. Tourists is already here. Is. I mean, we've got a permanent water hole over there at that windmill with good drinking water. We can build a campsite over there for them, put an entry at the gate, have a tourism office, rangers, and employ the older person to be here, and bring them on the tour. And then they camp over there, in the morning, they come come in through the gate like that. Yeah, I, I, that's something there, Colin. Um, I don't know how you feel about it, but camping right here, we shouldn't allow them to camp right here. Mm. Yeah, they should be camping back over there. <laughs> yeah, they camp over there. We can set up a big thing. We've got the water in that windmill. There was there. It's gone now, but the well and everything's still there. We can pump it to tap water, running water out the sites. They come here, pay their fee, come through the gate. The ranger and the elder will bring them through, tell them the mean, meanings of the paintings, tell them the meaning of what it means to us. So then they go away with something educational, you know, because they're just coming here, taking photos, destroying the place, walking around, to walk, you know, and put a decent fence around, like Uncle's saying. We've got a fence out there, why don't we put a proper fence out there and keep the animals out? Like we'll there. never stop the progress of tourism. No matter how hard we try. I, I, that's my belief, because the government, I don't care what, we, what anyone says, the government will always come back and have the last say on it. So let's them. start working about it, like we're saying. Let's build these toilets, let's build this fence around here, let's make it like that, and let's start benefiting them. But we've got to get the rock given back to us first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the rock given back to us, mm -hmm. then let's do that, and let's set these toilets up, showers or whatever it is, for these people. Let's put this fence around here, how far out we want it, we have a, like we're talking about, a tourism bloke. Well, if, so if we got, well, if Jeffrey's living in town, Jeffrey's an early riser, he can be out here by sunrise. But you have to generate money to keep them going. And that's what you have to do through an enterprise. Because mm -hmm. yeah. the government's not going to give you money for the rest of their lives. No. They only got short term things. Yeah. I think it all goes back to the ranger program. Yeah. Because then you can have rangers. Yeah. I mean, you got the elder ones, but you got these young ones. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Yeah. 
so you can get a representative from each family, you know, they can be here. That's what that's the ra exactly that's right. their that's role, exactly right. you know, Doing to the cleaning up, protect, the, these people. protect yeah. the land, you know. That could be the good one. The good guy. That could be the good guy, the protector, you know. Yep. He could be the one protecting the place. Okay. And um, um, the white one, as you go down there, you see a couple of smaller white ones. Mm -hmm. Mine, over mine, in Australia. And all this okay, it we done carbon date and stuff. This was traced all the way over to Queensland. But it's part of it. And the story about, about this here, is the king got speared on the coast. And the drop brought in deposited of blood. And this is where it ended up. And little wig really, it drops from there, and this is where the kangaroo died here. Where we get more the ochre, and we still use it when we do our culture business. We get the ochre from here, we get our culture up the rope, wood and stuff from here. And it's like gold. They, they, we had a couple of places come here. You want some? Give them. They wouldn't give it anybody else up there. Mine, right. when the European come in there, follow the black one, they say. And this was all flat. Only little hole in the blue, blue thing here. So they don't blow this top off. Yeah. Quit. You blew it just flat here. And now you've got the hole with it. Natural. So it would be something that's like just a hosted to a. Yeah. That's it. And keep it natural. Yeah. yeah. Open that up, put the lights in there so people can come and see what the ochre was about. Yeah. Do worry that's called. Do worry the ochre and the there's the hole. And this place called Thorari. <laughs> 